Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own YouTube thumbnail for your videos on your phone. So you don't need to have a computer, all you have to do is get Thumbnail Maker app on your phone. You will find a link to this app in the description of this video, so all you have to do is click on it, it will take you to Google Play Store and then install the application. After you install the application, all you have to do is open it. And once you do this, if you watch my previous videos, you know that I already made one video about this application, but today I'm going to show you another way of doing thumbnails using this same application. So, after we open it, we click on the second from the left button, the one that says ready made. After we click on it, if we want to create YouTube thumbnail, we click over here on thumbnail for YouTube. And after it opens, here we've got many different categories. For example, game, we have some categories for thumbnails from games. Dance is connected with dance and so on and so on. There is food, real estate, business, summer, travel, etc, etc. So just choose the category or the thumbnail template that you really, really like. Uh, let's say I'm going to make thumbnail about food. So I'm going to choose, we can click see more. And then we can choose whichever template we like and then later we can adjust it to our own video, to our own needs. So let's say I'm going to choose this over here. I click on it. In that moment it will download this template and as you can see it's already prepared for our editing. So let's start with editing the text. In order to do that all you have to do is click on the text like I just did right now and then down here we have edit. So after we click edit, we can change the text. So let's say I'm going to make a thumbnail for videos about cooking pizza. So let's say I'm gonna title it best pizza. And then we click on the text below. We click edit again. Let's say pizza recipes for beginners. And right now my title looks like this. And then we can click on the text on the yellow background. As you can see, I clicked right now. And then we click edit again. And we can change whatever the text says. So we can put there our channel name or maybe what kind of pizza are we going to cook. So I'm going to put pizza marinara. And I click add. So right now the text looks like this for my thumbnail. We can also change the color of the background of Pizza Marinara. In order to do that, we click up here. Then we click on our yellow, yellow color here and we drag it to the top. We will be changing the color of it. Now we click on this element. And then over here, we've got sliders with hue that will allow us to change the color. As you can see, I'm sliding and it's changing the color. For this one, I'm going to leave it uh, yellow, but you can of course change it to any color you want. And after we're done with changing what color we want, we click on this layers again and we drag it back to the right position behind the text. Okay, so we've got text ready. The next step would be changing our background image. In order to do that, we click down here onto the background. And then we can choose one of the pictures from the categories over here. And if we don't like any of the pictures here, we can click up here on the gallery and then choose a picture from our phone. So as you can see, I downloaded some of the pictures from the internet. You can go to a free image websites like Pixabay or Pexels and find high quality images there that you can use for your thumbnails. I'm going to use this thumbnail over here, this picture. And after I clicked on it, as you can see, it looks right like this at the moment. So we've got our picture ready. We've got the text ready. If we want to add some more modifications, we can click down here on the sticker. And over here, we've got many different categories of the stickers. So I'm sure you'll find something you like. I'm just going to click here on see more. And then I'm going to choose this like sticker over here. I'm going to click here to reflect it just like this. I'm going to move it to the right bottom corner and make it a little bit smaller. So my thumbnail looks like this right now. I added the sticker. Another thing we can add are effects. Over here in this tab we have different effects. 
For this thumbnail that I'm doing right now, effects will not really work well. However, it depends on the colors of your effects and on the effect that you would like to get. Effects may work better or worse. So all we have to do is click on the effect that we want. So let's say I'm clicking on this one. And then we can change opacity, like you can see right now, to adjust the effect to the picture that we used for our background. So you could use even this effect with 100% opacity if you're doing a TV show, for example, or a video about uh, fireworks or, or some abstract art or anything else. I'm just going to change this opacity to zero because this is how I like my thumbnail to look like. And now we are going to move to the last step, which is saving our thumbnail. In order to save, we have to click in the right top corner on this arrow over here. We click over here. And as soon as we do this, our thumbnail is being saved. And as we can see right now, thumbnail saved successfully. So we can click view thumbnail. And after we click view thumbnail, we will see how it's going to look like. And this thumbnail is also saved in your gallery on your phone. So if you want to upload it to YouTube, you can just uh, upload it directly from your phone gallery. And that's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer all of them. Also, let me know if you managed to figure out how to use this program, this application, and if you managed to create your own thumbnails. And remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.